when I start teaching limits, um, calculus, um, the first lesson of limits, I start doing uh, some drawings, uh, things like that. I start doing just this or something like this or maybe something like this or something like this because it's important to understand limits by the idea of approximation you can I always tell my students limit is approximation a limit is prediction, prediction of y values. I like this, predictions of y values. We are going to predict something. We are going to approximate something. And it's important to start looking at those beautiful drawings that we are going to be using along the content, along the lessons about limits. And then we move to a formal definition of limit. A formal definition of limit that the students can understand. Welcome to Math Topics. Welcome to the first lesson of this course, Calculus. I hope you like it. I know that when you think in any topic in Calculus, many things come. Boom, 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 boom. We have limits. We have two sides limit. We have theorems. We have the squeeze theorems. We have the IVT theorems, the intermediate value theorems. So we have all of these things, and we're going to put that in a couple of lessons, maybe two lessons, maybe three lessons. But I want you to have a high-quality course in front of you, something that you can count, something that you are going to follow in order to understand the fundamental ideas and the fundamental procedures. It's not only about formal definitions and formal structures, it's about techniques. How can we solve certain limits? And how can we do it fast? Again, welcome to Math Topics. If this is your first time, take a look in our channel and you will see a lot of Math Topics. Let's see now the first lesson about limit of functions.